Hello and welcome to the collaboration video for SQL Power Architect Enterprise Edition. To follow along with this video, you can get the Enterprise Edition from www.sqlpower.ca slash architect. In this video, I will be demonstrating how collaboration works in SQL Power Architect Enterprise Edition. Currently, I have one window connected to a server. I've created a project and I've reverse engineered our demo database. As you make changes to the model, the changes are saved automatically to the server. This means if you close your project or if your computer shuts down unexpectedly, your project's already saved. One of the best features about working on a project in the enterprise server is the collaboration feature. One of the best features about working on a project in the enterprise server is the collaboration feature. The collaboration features allow multiple users working on the same project to see each other's changes occur on their screen in real time. To demonstrate this, I have a second window open on the same project in the enterprise server. These two different windows will demonstrate two users connected to the same project on different machines. Although I'm demonstrating this with two users, there's no real limit to the number of users you can use to connect to the same project. Now that I have two screens available, demonstrating two different users, I can move a table in one screen and watch it change for the other user. I can also rename columns as another example. As you can see on the screen on the left, the change happens instantly. To help you manage different versions of these projects on the enterprise server, we have the revision manager. To get to the revision manager, you go under the enterprise menu. The first thing I'm going to do for this demonstration is to reduce the number of versions we're looking at to give us an easier time viewing this. Now that I have a few versions displayed, we can see the description of what's changed in each version. The first description tells me I've changed an object named Director Movie FK. This would be one of our relationships in our data model. Along with each change, there's also an author of who made the change at a time the change was created. You can get a larger description of each change by double clicking on a row. If you want a more detailed description between two different versions, you can use the compare feature. To compare two different versions, you simply select one version on the left and one version on the right. The difference displayed below is very similar to the compare DM feature in SQL Power Architect. The final feature of the revision manager is the revert feature. This is handy if you've made a couple mistakes in your data model and want to roll back to an older version. To revert a project, simply select the version you're looking for and hit the revert button. Depending on the number of changes, this revert may take some time. Now that the revert has completed, we can see in the project on our left that the call that the call the version that for that and hit the that 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 the call that the call that the call depending on the number that the call is that the call revert may that the call time that that revert has that we can that project on that the call that the call that the call act the version that the calling for that the call and hit the that the call that 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 depending on the number 